Okay, I want to do a quick video here uh, for QuickBooks Online and uh, with Label Connector for QuickBooks Online for printing barcode labels to show you how you can print barcode labels using Label Connector and then use those barcodes to scan into, in this case I'm going to uh, show you with a sales receipt, but uh, this was also done in another video that we did for invoices, but it can really be done for any of the QuickBooks Online transactions that have a text box that you can enter data into. So a couple things to consider first. First of all, I just want to go over um, in QuickBooks Online, um, when you're creating your items, um, and I've skipped past this in previous videos, but your products and services when you're creating those, you should be creating uh, an item name or number. If you want to use barcoding, you're going to want to stick with, you know, product names and numbers that are like, for example, in this case, like an alphanumeric value. Because if you if make a barcode out of something r really lengthy, like this description here or here, um, that's going to make a huge barcode. And on top of that, when you scan into the product or service box, it's not going to recognize the description. Um, and just to begin with, making a barcode out of something that lengthy will result in a huge, long barcode. You could use QR codes, but you could call us about some ideas on that. But So basically, before you begin, and you're, if you're considering QuickBooks Online now, you know, like this is an example. This is a little bit longer, but this would work with barcoding. Um, an alphanumeric value, kind of like your part number. And then if you want to put in descriptive information, go ahead and do that, but do that in the description boxes, not in where it says item name and number. And I, I think QuickBooks does this just to be flexible, but if you're planning on using barcoding, you definitely want your item name to be something like a part number and then put your descriptive information in here, okay? so. Um, so we're going to circle back to scanning into an estimate here, but what I first want to briefly show is uh, how to just produce some barcodes to just test, you know, with Label Connector. And we can talk, you, talk to you about scanners and things like that too. But basically, in Label Connector, uh, to just to do this like in an easy example, you can go to our item list feature and you can just say get all items. Let me just fire up this connection here real quick up this invoice all right so if we go to the item list mode and say get all items um, we can you know for example we can make a, a label I've already got uh, I'll pick the um, 4 by 3 label I was working with earlier all right let me just go down these are all the templates that I've made um, for use with our software uh, let's see inventory 4 by 3 so uh, normally, if you're sticking with one template, it'll just remember that, okay? So, um, and this is just an example label that I've made ahead of time. And we have other, you know, tutorials on how to create the labels uh, in our other videos. So if I go ahead and just make a label for this, this is just for us to use, you know, for this example. You can see Label Connector can make this, you know, label with the part number on there, a barcoded version of the part number. And you see I stuck with one that is an alphanumeric kind of value for the item name. And then here I'm showing the price as well. And we can put a dollar sign in front of that with some other formatting in the designer. So what I did was I printed this off ahead of time and I had this barcode next to me at my desk. Now, if you're scanning, uh, your scanner uh, can append an enter key uh, it can also be changed to remove the enter key or have a tab key, but most of the rudimentary scanners you get on Amazon uh, will append an enter key, but that will work in this case. Uh, I've tested it, but if you get into a different screen where you need to have a different type of a character appended to each scan, you can call us and we can go over that, but only the better scanners will you let you control what gets appended to the scan. But in this case, we're just going to leave it at the default value where it appends an enter key after the scan. And we're going to scan this barcode in the receipts box. And it's just going to pull that in just like you had typed it. But it will, you know, for for a sales receipt, it's like if you're, uh, you know, checking people out. And this will also decrease the amount of inventory on the item 
um, if you scan it into either an invoice or a sales receipt. So this is kind of the label I have next to me already. You won't see that in the video, but assume that this is what it looks like. This is what I'm scanning. Um, so if we go ahead over to the uh, create a, a receipt, in this case I'm just using that again as an example, but you could use any of these types of transactions and scan into these. Um, and what I've done is I formatted our receipt. Um, I, I removed the column where it said uh, service date because we don't really need that in this example. So to make a, a sales receipt, you know, you get you probably have to select a customer. Then you go down here and you want to like scan, you know, this item into the sales receipt. So I've gone ahead and scanned that in and it's pulled that in. And then you can just tab over to the quantity and say, OK, I want two of these on there and you can save that. So again, we've kind of modified this so you could click here again. If I had a different barcode, again, you could scan that. It pulls it in, tab, tab, boom. You got five of these saved. So real quick and easy to do uh, with a combination of, you know, QuickBooks Online, scanning into the text box, using AccuWare's label connector to print labels um, either from your items or you can use any of these transactions like estimates or POs if these are you know to label things that are coming in the door so but really the focus of, the, of this video is to show you how you can do scanning uh, you may have more questions on getting this set up uh, for a trial or a demo with us uh, don't hesitate to give us a call at 630 one zero and we can uh, walk you through getting this set up in a trial anytime so uh, but we got a lot of options for printing the barcode labels for you uh, you know in our designer we have all kinds of like pre-made templates that you can pick from from our library you know so you, you can just get started quickly that way or you can design a label from completely from scratch you don't have to go with these templates these are all templates that I designed in our system. So, and we also have a newer feature where we can even do like, you know, pages of barcode labels, like things like bills, bills of lading or invoices and things like that in this system. So, I uh, hope this helps out with any questions you might have on scanning into QuickBooks, in this case, to make a sales receipt. Uh, but again, I could have scanned the same way into any of the transactions that present a text box to scan into. Um, so we'll help you make those barcodes with Label Connector uh, and then you can use your QuickBooks Online to make use of those barcodes here. Uh, and if you scan into an invoice or a sales receipt, that will decrease your inventory to help you keep you know, better tabs on your inventory. Uh, don't hesitate to give us a call with any questions. Call with any questions. Thanks.